Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you to those that have recently subscribed. Today's pick a card, what are their thoughts? I thought it would be a good follow up to what are their secret feelings? So rather, what are their secret thoughts? <laughs> We've got four pals to choose from. Um, I feel like there's a lot of rush, rushing, like I feel like I want to rush through this for some reason. So it tells me right away that many of you are going to have some unexpected communication. Um, and also I hear like long awaited, but then like suddenly it's coming rushing in. People are rushing towards you, back towards you, okay? Um, so we've got four pals to choose from. Pal one are these white stars, okay? Pal two are the green stars. Pal three are the purple stars, and pal four are the yellow stars. Okay, so choose your pile. I'm gonna get straight into this because, yeah, this is uh, this is the energy completely. So um, if you need more time, you can pause the video. Maybe more than one pile is for you as well today. I just hear. Okay. So let's just. Okay, welcome, pile one. What are their secret thoughts? Let's take a look at the lover's um, oracle message first, okay? So this is the image, right? So right away, pile one, um, I do have energy that there's a distance here. This can be distance, like literal, you know, location-wise, or also, and or, right? There's lack of contact here, there's, minimal to zero communication because if you look at the image of the man the woman is behind him so also behind means past energy all right so it's someone that's thinking of you from your past so the secret thoughts we're going to be getting today in part one is somebody from your past who has secret thoughts about you okay so if you don't have that kind of thing in your energy field you don't feel that you're not looking for that this is not your pile okay um, and certainly here we've got like a yin and yang energy. So this is someone that you you shared like an intense connection with, okay? And this has never been broken. You've actually always been on their mind. This person feels very disappointed about the way things went. Um, and they're also disappointed that there's no communication between you currently. So let's take a look. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So first of all, this person's secret thoughts about you are wanting to heal. They're wanting to come back in. They're wanting to break no contact and they're secretly thinking about breaking no contact, okay? Um, to restore things, okay? This person secretly is thinking about a reunion with you, secretly thinking about getting back together. All right, that's the main first energy. So I've pulled some other cards. Let's see um, the Oracle deck. We've got Thief, yeah. This person secretly thinking that they had an opportunity taken from them, an opportunity that was robbed. This can also represent your energy and your feeling. It can be that both of you feel like, oh, we were robbed of our time, like it was bad timing, it's, um, we, we weren't in a good place or they weren't in a good place this is really the energy so it's like here there's also some kind of karma you know like karma that this could be a karmic but really it's about uh, balance some of you may be dealing with libras this could be your energy coming through as the libra um but basically like i'm seeing the justice you know there's something about justice that needs to happen here um and this is what this person is also secretly thinking about they're secretly thinking about like having justice with you um, and they view that as it being through restoring this connection, like this relationship. Okay, let's see um, my lover's tarot. Courage, yeah. They are gonna have the courage to step forward, okay? So they're secretly thinking about how they're gonna do this and how they're gonna do it in a way that will not rock the boat, I hear. Um, and I do also hear like treading on thin ice at the same time, okay, this person, they're secretly thinking about how they can make it up to you. 
they 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 feel very responsible um so if you thought pal one that they would never take accountability or responsibility for certain things that happen between you they are going to they're actually going to do that okay um all right let's see what else is going on here what other secret thoughts do they have about you in pile one what else please hear spirit thank you <laughs> what did i say <laughs> justice it's called the harmony in this deck but it's the justice um also represents the libra energy okay so that's the confirmation there um and that yeah this will be balanced okay divine timing is now at play so even if it's something that you might think no i'm not open to that anymore i'm just curious you're about to close that door it's like somebody's well i guess the universe god whoever you believe in they're putting like a wedgie in the door you know so it won't fully close so it's kind of it's gonna happen regardless is what i get okay all right what else please here um, I just felt really dizzy then. So you you could be feeling dizzy. You might have a headache right now. This person may be getting headaches, especially when they're thinking about you a lot. Um, this person can cry. You can cry. Um, and it gives you both headaches. Um, what did I say? Yeah, divine timing. This is my divine timing card, the stars. Okay, you are meant to cross paths again. This is also my star cross lovers card. This is very interesting energy and very, um, like it's very heavy because what i'm picking up is that this person they also have like physical pain like i say there's the headaches also it could be you having headaches um because you're both whether it's subconscious or you know it's consciously you're both trying to like fix it even at a distance it, i know that may sound okay well what do you mean by that it's like energetically speaking and there's energies and, and forces at work trying to mend it i even see like a band-aid an image of a band-aid like trying to just um you know help it heal okay yeah whatever they did the fool in the bottom of the deck they really want to um they yeah they they want to erase the way you view them so they're secretly thinking about trying to put forward or show you a better image of them show you a better self a better version of themselves that's it okay yes knave of cups that's you know a romantic message coming in a romantic well an emotional message also okay what else please here for pal one spirit the empress and queen of pentacles yeah wow um so they're also secretly thinking of making a grand gesture okay when they come towards you um that gesture for some of you it will include talks of you know proposal marriage i'm not saying they're gonna propose right upon the next contact but this is the intention this is the energy they're not playing around you here you can be an earth sign okay um virgo taurus capricorn in that order and then we've got the empress which we know embodies all the four queens okay you have become incredibly stable throughout this time and this could have been quite a long time it could have been 24 months for some of you like two years have gone by right and there's been no um no contact and i mean there can have been no contact right that said, of course, there's been the telepathic contact. There's been dreams here also. I do get that from this card. Like they've dreamt about you. They've appeared in your dreams. That is them trying to like talk to communicate with you, okay? Um, th yeah, this is you. You had a glow up. If you don't feel you have, okay? Some of you may not have been 24 months that have gone by. Could have been eight months ago, eight weeks in some cases, but definitely the energy is quite far, back. you know, it's, it's dense. The denser I feel it, it means it's fur it's further back in the past. Um, so yeah. I lost my train of thought. Okay, yes, the message was you may not feel you're there yet. For those of you where it's not been as long, but you are going to be. You are going to be. Yeah, confirmation of communication. Eight of ones. Okay, what else please hear spirit? And I do hear that this is kind of a miracle, actually because you never would have thought they'd be capable of 
even apologizing or even even opening up look five of cups this is my heart to heart card this person they're secretly thinking about finally telling you how they really feel about you and i mean the truth really and taking accountability with the full card being there this is why it's like a miracle and you're you're going to be shocked like okay um yeah i never saw that coming because this person yeah see chariot they're not going to waste any more time they're secretly you know not wanting to waste any more time You would have no idea. You would have no idea. Because on the surface, if some of you have checked on their social media, it looks like that they're not even, like, they're not even hesitating to go out. Or I don't know, it might look like they've got into another connection. But it's it's not, it's, I don't want to say it's a joke, as in, like, laughing at their life. But listen, this person, they don't feel good enough for you. They never did. This is what led to all this in the first place. There can be an age difference here, there doesn't have to be, but it could just be that they viewed you as being, well, look, you Empress, even if you weren't in that energy at the time, it's always been inside you, right? And they, they saw that. Okay, what else please say, Spirit? Seven of Cups, yeah. Okay, okay, this is my, like, in one of my dirty cards. Thing is here, this person felt like you you would betray them okay that you would have a better option that you would cheat that you would do all these things out of fear like into coming from an insecure place you never gave them an inkling that this would even be this would even happen but i'm being shown that okay spirit is pointing that out to me that this is like a little bit of like paranoia energy yeah eight of ones again okay well <laughs> So let's see an overall here, please. Overall here, please, Spirit. What's the overall, like, you know, we've seen a lot there, but the main energy of secret thoughts and how, how one's person. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. That they're, they, they're heavily manifesting you, even if they don't know about manifestation of those kind of things. Like, but this person, they've gone through from they've gone through some strange experiences since you some of you may be you know like you have spiritual gifts and stuff and this person but you, you may not have divulged that to them and they they they're picking up like there's something there's something about you there's something about you they don't know that they because they're having these strange experiences and when i say strange it's strange to them like you showing up in their dream and them thinking about you like this intensely having all these like secret thoughts where is all this coming from i hear them saying so yeah subconsciously they've been doing that for those that aren't you know into esoterics you cult four of ones Okay, confirmation that they're going to want to come in and be back together. They're going to want to have a relationship again. Um, yeah, they feel really guilty about what happened, the way things went down. So again, if it looks like they haven't been suffering, so to speak, they have. And then Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Yeah. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. And I'm also hearing like one final message here, the truth will come out. So this is what the, this is what is going on here. It's very like, D, I didn't expect that for secret thoughts today, but um, this person is very much in a mode of wanting to actually heal, fix things. Um, yeah, and that's what they're secretly thinking about. Okay, so that's what I have, pal one. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. So have a meeting. Moving on to pile two. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Welcome to your reading pile two. Let's just do a little shuffle here.
Okay, what are their secret thoughts? Let's take a look at the lover's oracle messages. This is the image. Um, and the message is twin flames, your passion ignites. Um, here, this person I'm getting, okay, their secret thoughts are about being with you in a very intimate way, okay? Um, they wanna they want to show you how passionate they are about you. Um, I will get to the message about twin flames, okay? But the main energy, first of all, is like they they want you, okay? They're really, their secret thoughts are very um, sensual, sexual, like they're really desiring you, but it goes deeper than that, it goes further. And that's why the twin flame message is there. They don't have to be your twin flame, but it's basically the energy of like the intensity, right? So they're secretly, um, I was gonna say feeling, which they definitely are feeling because this person gets sensations when they're thinking about you, okay? Um, like sensations over their body. It's kind of um, like electric. And also I hear there's something about your eyes that they feel very drawn to. This energy here of this person, I pick up, they can kind of see right through people. They kind of can see into your soul. Um, they just have a very sensual energy about them knowing they are knowing they um yeah so there's also something here about flowers it can it can be yeah they secretly um think about being so close to you like physically speaking that they can smell smell you like they want to put their head in your hair and your neck um i see that this person daydreams they're secret they're having these secret thoughts when they're daydreaming particularly about you okay okay let me see the oracle concern okay concern yeah this person is concerned about rejection for some reason they're concerned that you don't feel the same way or don't think the same way about them it's not clear why right now, but for some reason, in their secret thoughts, it goes from being like really heavily passionate to then like a panic, like, oh, uh, what if they don't think that? What if I'm over, what if I'm overstretching it? What if this is all in my head? Okay, let's see the love tarot, the sun. Yeah, so this person is secretly thinking about a future with you, okay, long term. So the energy I have um, also for you to know if this is your pile is that this is um, this is like early stages. And if it's not early stages, it's just that it hasn't gone beyond the physical yet. And I mean, like there hasn't been like, you know, sex. You haven't slept together yet because this person is heavily fantasizing. They're heavily, they're secretly thinking about that and what that's going to be like. Okay, and that's why there's this energy of like rejection, like, oh, I don't know where I stand with this person. Um, I feel also that, okay, you watching, your energy is, um, yes, it is guarded. It is guarded to an extent, because I, and I kept being drawn to the flower, like how it mostly covers the woman on here. Um, even though it's like, you're guarded, but you do have some openness, like you are showing your energy like this flower energy okay um but you're not letting someone in like into the center like in but you know um yeah and i just feel like this person okay they try they're, they're very much like hovering in your energy like this bird like they're kind of over you like they're protective of you as well so they're secretly thinking of ways to protect you more like how to protect you how to make you feel safe so that you will allow them into the flower so to speak like however you want to take that like into your heart like you know into your body um into your soul this person um they're secretly thinking about how you'll spend time together the next time they're, they're secretly thinking about the next time you see each other what you're going to do what they can do to get you to come closer so this person overall it's like they're secretly thinking about how to bring you in how to reel you in more okay but let me see what else is going on here 
What? That's Space Spirit, thank you. King of Pentacles, okay. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. What else do you see? Uh, wow! Okay, this is a confirmation that some of you in this pile, this is a twin flame. This is my twin flame card in the deck. And then we've got twin flames on there. That's what I was waiting for. I was like, before I start running with it, you know, or saying about it's twin flame, you know, yes, it's embodying the energy for many of you, right? That's that's also the message. But for some, this is this is confirmation. And also with the world card being there, this is your gift. This is your gift. This is like a cycle has been completed in your life. Also in this person's life. That's why you're coming together. You're both ready. You're both ready for this healthy, stable, long-term relationship, connection, marriage, whatever um, signifies commitment for you. This is what this is. And this person, they're secretly thinking about how to, how to assure you, like reassure you that they are here to stay. They, they, they're in your life. This is for them. They're secretly thinking they can't, um, they're secretly thinking that, you know, you, in a way you have to be in a situation or in a position rather where you can't say no. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't take no for an answer, won't take no for an answer. Okay, what else please, his spirit. And this person, they may not be aware of terms like twin flame, but they certainly know they feel something different some you've awakened something in them okay that's also what the flower tells me there there's an awakening ten of pen wow ten of pentacles the hermit heavy on the earth sign so this person can be a virgo okay it can be you that's the virgo um otherwise we've got taurus capricorn in that order okay um though i do have heavily it's the person i'm picking up is the earth sign all right um, but look at this, come on, I mean, yeah, this person wants to be your soul, they're simply thinking about how they can be your soul provider. It's not just financially speaking, but it's in every aspect. They, they are secretly thinking about having you all to themselves. They, no, they don't want to share you because they, they're feeling, okay, we're getting to feelings here. They're feeling like they've waited so long. They've waited so long to find someone like you. Okay. They've waited so long for this opportunity, this opportunity for a new beginning with someone that's actually real. Though they do have money, because also you've got the green um, stars there. I actually kind of have like a, you know, like an entrepreneur, but uh, like very wealthy in some cases. Um, there could be an age gap here also especially with the guy on there with the, um, the gray hair because this person might also be concerned that oh they're younger um like i'm much older especially with the hermit card being there like maybe they they don't want to maybe they feel something but they just don't want to spend their life give up their life to oh not give up but you know be with somebody older basically <laughs> to get to the point you know we age can be an issue for some people i don't get it is for you watching but it's coming we're looking at this person's secret thoughts right Th this is what it is um and that won't be for everyone of course it doesn't have to be older but certainly they can be more advanced than you like they, because they they um they've grown like in in the financial element and the wisdom element it's not even to say they have more than you necessarily but there is something about advancement that they're more advanced okay that that is clear um and okay we've got two of wands three of swords so it's like i'm hearing from spirit you're being presented with an opportunity to like move forward into something you never expected with this person i'm picking up here and it will actually take you out of three of swords or wherever that's still lingering. It doesn't have to be so like heavy right now, like you're in a heartbreak. Um, but 
there's hesitancy, right? With two of wands, I just have hesitancy. Like, I don't know. I've been down this road before. Like I, you know, I've fallen for these terms even, like soulmate twin flame. And I was so into it. And then you just was like, no, I need practicality. Um, well, this person is definitely practical. They don't, they haven't thrown out the practical side of life with all these pentacle cards. But they also have a side to them that's like really deep and soulful. I do hear Pisces and I do hear Scorpio. So that could be like in one of them, you know, main placements, which is why they can be kind of in their earth energy. That could be their sun, but then their moon and their uh, Venus is in like a, a water sign energy. What else? Yeah, they're secretly thinking about whisking you away, literally off into the sunset, okay? They want to take you to Europe and to different lands. Queen of Wands and Nine of Cups. Okay, so you may be a fire sign as well. I mean, I mentioned you could be an earth sign, but yeah, the fire sign here with Queen of Wands. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just, they're so taken aback by you, like, they're so attracted to you. Like they're secretly thinking like how, how it's gonna be like spending, spending the night with you. See how it's like nighttime here. Um, yeah, okay. So there's, a, they, I'm, I'm seeing like a vision here where you are gonna at one point be with this person going to watch the sunset where it's going down like this. And it, there's gonna be like a hot, passionate exchange. Like, really not something you've ever experienced before um and with the seven of wands being there as i said kind of before this person is not going to give up at the first sign of resistance um again because you know maybe you're not ready to go through through on the new pathway like through the swords you know this but this person is sure right this person um that we yeah, are see look at that and two of cups they're they're confident about how they are well how they're thinking about you how they're feeling about you um i hear this person saying everything happens for a reason like you've shown up in their life for a reason um and that's what i have those are their secret thoughts pal too okay that was your reading thank you for watching and i will see you soon Okay, moving on to pile three. Dancing in the moonlight, everybody's feeling warm and bright. It's such a fine and natural sight. Everybody's dancing in the moonlight. Okay, somebody, the, the energy here, somebody is secretly thinking about you and your silhouette. And I hear the last time they saw you and there's like moonlight. The, the moon was bright that night, something like this. They could see you, but it was it was through a, a, a moonlight. Like, um, it was... I just can't even, I don't know, that's it. I'm gonna keep it there before I make it complicated, but for some of you, yeah, this is a person who you've had, um, you know, intimacy with and they're secretly replaying this moment in their mind because it was like a kind of goddess moment for them. They saw you like a goddess, like you lit up. Um, it's, it's also giving me like, you know, twilight vibes here. Like, yeah, okay. So let's see um, the... Love this message. Let me just okay. This is the image on the front. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Okay, so also what I have from this card is that this started with chemistry. Okay, th this connection, this person that's secretly in their thoughts about you, and now they actually want to get to know you. They they want to, they're secretly thinking about how to turn this into a relationship. So I do have that this is, this could be a situationship. This could be like hooking up. Um, this could be, um, 
you know, even maybe a one night stand, but that's for very, very minimal group, like people rather. Um, but it's growing, something is growing here and this person is secretly having thoughts about how to water it, how to nurture it more, how to actually be your friend. Um, yeah, okay, let me see the Oracle card. Thoughts, damn, you're heavy in their mind. Heavy. Okay, also this person is secretly thinking about what is it about you <laughs> that has them sprung like this, that has them like caught up, caught up in their feelings. I know we're looking at thoughts, but this is what I hear. Also, um, oh, okay. This person is um, really looking at your social media. They're really looking at a picture if you've sent them one. Um, they're, they're staring at it a lot because they can't figure you out. There's something here where it's like, uh, well, I had the goddess energy energy before. So they're also wondering, like, did they put a spell on me? Like, what what is it that they have? There's something very unknown about you and very mysterious, okay? Uh, let's see the tarot. Okay, Ten of Swords. Yeah. So from the Ten of Swords here, what I have is, like, this person, their secret thoughts are about what happened to you they're like, what happened? Why is this person like this now? They're secretly thinking about your story. Like, what is your story? They are really trying to figure you out. Wow. What? Because they, they're they secretly thinking, oh, there must have been something that happened, like betrayal, heartbreak or something. Because how how are they so um balanced and together and able to not be so sprung on me sprung up on me even though you can be right we'll see what comes out but you know we're looking at their thoughts right um yeah because you may both the women in these images have like a very poker face so this can be how you post yourself you know you're like you don't ex like have a smile um you don't tend to show that only in private, only in private. You may also like love wearing black, but you know, like, you yeah, like black, um, black aesthetic, um, but very hot, kind of like a Megan Fox or something like this, you know, maybe Vampire Slayer. And I had like the Twilight vibe before. Okay, what else is going on here? Of course that won't be for everyone. Uh, the person I'm picking up may have sleeve tattoo. Okay, they may have tattoos, this can be you. You can have a sleeve seven of swords two of cups in the bottom of the deck yeah i mean come on also it's my one of my secret cards this is it this person is trying to they're secretly thinking about your secrets <laughs> i mean okay five of swords Ooh. okay so this person may be an air sign um libra gemini aquarius and they're actually used to being the one that has secrets. They're used to being the one that's in that sense mysterious. And now they've met you. Okay, what else do you say, Spirit? Empress. They're also secretly thinking about, um, okay, Queen of Wands. They are, they're secretly thinking about, you know, well, it's more of a fantasy, like getting you pregnant, some of them. They fantasize about that and it's something they've never felt before it's something they've never thought about before when they've dated other people that's why they're like what is it about them i know i keep saying it but okay we've got queen of wands so this could be you okay you can be a fire sign here um sagittarius aries leo um also in particular like rising could be your rising sign because i also have a very heavy scorpio energy like in feminine so um yeah, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Cancer Moon specifically. Of course, it won't be for everybody, right? Um, yeah, Scorpio, Venus, because there's something here that's very sensual. So like, um, yeah, look, and then Knight of Wands. So what I'm going to say here is, and what I'm getting, right, is they're secretly thinking about um, how you became so... Yeah, how you became the way you are, but how you became a player that they're viewing you as a player 
only because you're not like so attached to them and you, you can walk away, you can be with them, like you're not, um, I, I honestly have this energy of like you can take it or leave it. You're very into them when you're together, right? Like the passion, the chemistry, everything is fire. But then when you go, it's like poof. <laughs> um, and they secretly think, have you ghosted them? <laughs> and then you come back, you know? So they're not saying you are a player. They're not like literally thinking. It's just they, that's the closest I can describe a seductress, perhaps. Like, you're a seductress. Like, okay, what else? Yeah, there's my water sign energy. Um, okay, and the temperance. Yeah. Um, again, so they're wondering like how you're so balanced. They're secretly thinking about where where do they get this this edge, this balance about them. It's like they can be so passionate and then just be so logical. I actually see Queen of Swords in my vision. Well, you are the Empress, you've shown up as the Empress, so you definitely have that about you, like Queen of Swords, like just cutting people off, like, especially with all the Swords cards, it's like, people, well, actually, people who come into your life, romantically speaking, they don't know that they shouldn't do what they do, like when they try to mess with you, they never see it coming, and you're like, da -da -da -da, like you, you know, cutting heads off. Off with their head! <laughs> but you are very nurturing and loving. This is what's got them all like <laughs> in their secret thoughts about you. Okay, let's get a final message. Final messages. Yeah, I, okay, so it's kind of moving off a bit because there is a message here about the past. Four of Cups and Knave of Wands. And, and it is this, it's this knight here. Okay, so that's a kind of side note that you've got someone who is also trying to come through in this reading as well as this energy I've been picking up on. Um, yeah, Knave of Wands is somebody who is, they're on their way. They're on their way to come back and approach you, Knight of Cups. Um, is someone else who's sprung over you, all right? Um, that's what I have, part three. I mean, yeah, what's this, Knight of Cups. Oh, you know, yes, because you are like a wish fulfillment for many people. And I hear that's how you like it. You don't like to just let, you don't, you're not even necessarily looking for someone to get close to you. I noticed this in one of my last readings about how on this Empress card, there's like steps to go, and it's a lot, like very small steps to go up to her. And this is how I view your energy. Like you are like, okay, down there and tell me, present to me what you're gonna do. Very self-confident and self-assured. And again, nurturing at the same time, which drives these, persons of interest wild and I mean wild like it's taken up a lot of their energy <laughs> like just trying to figure you out um yeah the lovers because you're an amazing lover oh and the moon see yeah wow and the high yeah I was just gonna say you definitely hear I've got some witches some practitioners look at this look at you <laughs> um there we go my readers and all that mm -hmm. so yeah when they're wondering like are they under a spell yeah in some cases but it's your energy it's not that you've even gone and done something specific you don't i'm hearing like it's not something you need to do to because the attraction is coming anyway it it may just be kind of um to solidify you know when when you really like them you have to really be into them i'm just seeing all about you look at this yeah you have to really really be into them and attached for you to like do a specific spell on them in the cases where you do spells uh or manifest or a ritual because you have to see it's like worthy you know like i said before they got to be down at the bottom of those steps and then are they worthy are you even worthy of my magic Otherwise, this is just it. And I can come and go when I want. Okay, loved reading that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reading, pal three, and I will see you soon. Thank you.
Hey, hello, pal fall. Welcome to your reading. <clears throat> what are their secret thoughts? Let's take a look. We're going to start with the love oracle cards, okay? Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads. Ooh, something is like very spontaneous here. Hmm. I don't know where I hear Queen of Hearts. That's interesting. And four, there's four hearts on here. So the number four is significant for you here in Pal Four. <laughs> You may see 444 four, four often and be like, why am I seeing this constantly? Uh, yeah, it's because you're coming close to completing um, an old cycle. And I actually have this um, vision of like you sh taking a different train that, and, and the train track is shifting. You're going in another way, but you, you're not really seeing it. Like it's, there's manifestation energy here, but it's not okay where, but it's like happening. Okay, let me see the oracle. Message of concern, yeah. Because it's like, okay, I'm not seeing the, um, I'm not hearing anything, I'm not getting anything. And I don't know why the reading is starting off this way. Like I'm getting a lot about like where you, like where your energies are. Because, ah, yes, it's, it's like blocking the person. Whoever is coming up in this reading, who we're gonna see, it's like blocking it. So if, if you've been waiting for something to happen, the person who's secretly in their thoughts about you, like, okay, where, like what's going on? And th this is what I have, okay? So I know it sounds a bit cryptic so far, but let me see the tarot deck. Four of pentacles, what did I say? And then the four of hearts, four hearts rather. Um, you are gonna have a fulfilling relationship. So here it's like, you're, you're waiting for someone to come back and 14 on there. You're, you're waiting for someone to come back or no, also waiting for someone to come in, okay? So we've got two trajectories going on here in this reading. Like there's someone already and then there's someone coming in. And it can be both or it can be one or the other. You, you take whichever is your um, story, okay? But yeah, see, two of ones on the bottom of the deck. You're waiting, waiting for things to show up this person right let's see okay spirit can i see please what are the secret thoughts of the person who wants to come through in this reading um and please if you can clarify when it's about a past or if it's this new person coming in um which is interesting because yeah we're gonna get secret thoughts of someone that's coming in hmm. right let's see this is three of pentacles Three, four, everything is in order. <laughs> and yeah, the magician. I hear manifesting each other. Manifesting each other. Okay. Oh, okay, the lovers. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go with the person, first of all, who you're waiting on coming back, okay? there's been this waiting period. This is who is secret, you know, they're having secret thoughts about you. They are, I mean, they're secretly in love with you, okay? You may not think that, you may think, no. Um, even though you've wanted them to come back, like it wasn't love. It didn't get to that stage, but actually I'm getting that this person began to f fall even more in love with you during the period of like not being together, not talking. And I do have a relationship. It's someone you were in a relationship with. It wasn't just a, a situationship or something like that because we've got three of pentacles, four of pentacles, okay? Um, but the thing is, as you've been manifesting, yeah, okay, 10 of swords, one moment. Um, the, somebody else has come in. <laughs> the prayer or the manifestation could have been, okay, universe, bring to me what is the best for me. Even though, you know, secretly you want it to be the past person. I'm not, I've had a reading like this before. It's very interesting. Knight of Swords, yeah, this is someone coming back. They're coming. They are coming. Ten of Swords, okay. So, yeah. This was something that didn't get 
off the ground. Like there, there wasn't, even though it was a relationship, there wasn't like a four of pentacles. This person, they have felt, they've been, they have felt, they are feeling, okay? I know this is about thoughts, but this is the way the readings go in. Um, they have uh, felt as down as you and also like guilt here, but it's more so uh, guilt, guilt about something from their side. Because the message of concern is like, where's the apology? Where's an apology here? And that can be why there's like a new person showing up. I just heard the name Daniel, so this may have a connection for some of you. Okay, this, this reading is like all over the place. I'm really, there's like so much here. Okay, Queen of Cups, this can represent you. Okay, you can be a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in that order. They can be an air sign. Okay, and we have got like the lovers, so they could be a Gemini, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. All right. What else here? Ace of Cups, yeah. Okay, their secret thoughts. Again, it's just confirming here that they are, they love you. They love you. Ten of Wands. But also they're secretly thinking how you can overcome this Ten of Swords. See, like you've got two tens here. You may be seeing ten ten. They also have secret thoughts of like, will you be able to get over certain obstacles? Will you be able to move past what this Ten of, um, ten of Cups? <laughs> Ten of Swords is about. The, I just hear complicated and the energy here is complicated and powerful. So still I need to see about how can we be getting secret thoughts of someone who's not showed up yet. This person has to be around you. And it's a third person that's gonna come in due to this manifestation with three of pentacles. You're gonna have, it's like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, that's about the past person. Let me see. There's an energy around you currently, okay? That's, this is who we're gonna see their secret. What, 10 of cups? And I said that fraudulent slip. 10, 10, 10. Yeah. The main person is this one, this Knight of Swords, okay? I see the, their secret thoughts here are, like they're coming through the strongest and the most dominant because there is love there, right? They're secretly in love with you. They secretly still love you, right? And you you are their Queen of Cups to them, okay? You are their Queen. Um, and they want ten of cups. They wanna. They wanna replace. They're secretly thinking. Okay, so I'm still on about the past person here coming back in. They secret. They secretly are thinking how to replace the these ten of wands and ten of swords with ten of cups and make it like that. Like it never happened. Right. Moving on. Let's get some messages about the person who's around you. I also have the initial T and the initial M. Okay, so they might have a revel Yeah, it's somebody who is on a friend, got the friendship card, right? It's someone who's got the friendship card currently around you and they wanna be out with that. They wanna be in a, a relationship In a, they wanna date you. Yeah, rather than jump to relationship, it's like they wanna date you, okay? They are a potential, but they do, this mountain is an obstacle. They do know, they know they sense you're not you're not over yet you're not finished with this past person they just know it they just they just know it but they're still secretly hoping that something can come of it yeah they may be an earth sign maybe a virgo male here a capricorn taurus in that order uh they're very tuned in they're very smart very wise they're a reliable friend they're trustworthy um and actually they don't even hold it again hold it against you or nothing like that if you choose the past person, they still want to remain in your life, okay? However, they are secretly thinking about how they can be with you. Okay, what else please here? What else about this person that is currently around Pal Falcon Spirit? This friend, this friend with intentions. Okay, let me see. Oh, okay, well it came out in reverse, the tower card. 
Hmm. Okay, you, you may not be aware of this. You may not be aware that they have romantic feelings. Romantic thoughts, secret thoughts about you. you they, that they view you as something more. Well, they do. Because the tower card here is like truth. You know, it's the, whoa. We know it to be the change card, but it's usually a very dramatic. It's not just, yeah. This person, they secretly worry a lot, this friend, that they'll lose you. Not just this past person, but yeah, they can't, like you won't want them as a friend or something, like you'll forget about them. You'll forget, you know, if you do, whoever you meet. Hmm. Could be friends with benefits, in some cases. Just a few, friends with benefits. And you have crossed that line with them, but you've kind of put delays on it. Like, I don't know, because this, you know, you want this. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, you put you put a stop on, okay, moving it out of anything. The friendship or the friends with benefits. That's how I'm picking it up. Okay, let's get um, a final message. Ace, yeah, Knave of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. The, the, so there's been two people, right? to be clear. But the dominant energy is this past person coming in and that's who's heavily, secretly planning on coming back. They're planning on um, replacing the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords with Ten of Cups. They're secretly wanting you back. It's that simple. Okay, pal four. And then you've got a friend who's in the friend zone, a friend with benefits, who they are panicked about, you know, they're secretly panicking that you're gonna just forget about them altogether. And they secretly also want a, they want to date you, all right? I'm, like I said, I'm not jumping to relationship, but they want to date you properly. Um, and then <laughs> the surprise is that because of the way the manifestation is coming in and showing up, there's a third person completely brand new who is showing up. So yeah, a lot <laughs> of options. Pile three. Uh, pile four. Ooh, pile four. Yeah, so that's what I have. Okay, hope you enjoyed the reading and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.